Hey, what's up, guys? 98 Sports Talk here. So I saw uh, an article the other day and just wanted to do a, a video on it. Dan Mullen says he is going to bring a national championship to Gainesville. It, I, you know, I'm curious to see what you guys think about this. I mean, every, you know, everything I have seen coming out of Mullen's mouth has been, you know, we're going to score a lot of points. We're going to win national championships. We're going to do this. I mean, it's the complete opposite of what you hear out of pretty much all of the top coaches. I mean, do you hear Saban talking about how we're going to win national championships? No. Did you hear Kirby Smart talking about it? No. Do you hear Urban Meyer talking about it? No. I mean, I, I don't get, I, I don't understand what Mullen is doing. I mean, he seems to be raising the expectations even higher, if that's possible, down at Florida. I, I just don't understand it. Um, let me know what you guys think. Thumbs up if you guys think that Florida is going to win a national championship in the next five years. Thumbs down if you don't think Florida is going to win a national championship in five years. Personally, I you know I think Florida is going to you know and I'll do a video on on Florida here uh, maybe in the next I, I don't know when I'll do it but I'm, I'm going to do one for each SEC team. But I just, you know, I, I don't think, I think Florida's going to be uh, third in the SEC East. I mean, I, I think Georgia's going to be on top for a while, and I think Tennessee is going to be right there. I really do think uh, Jeremy Pruitt is going to have the volunteers rocking and rolling up in Knoxville. I think Tennessee fans will be really happy about, uh, you know, him becoming the head coach there. Um, and, and I just, you know, I think, I don't think Florida's going to get, you know, above either of those two programs in the East. So I think, I think Florida, you know, Florida's going to have a, re, you know, and Mullen, he's going to have a really tough time down there in Gainesville, I, I think. But, uh, yeah, let me, so let me know what you guys think. You guys think Mullen's crazy, just kind of, you know, sh firing at the hip, just, you know, running his mouth about, you know, going to be one of the top teams in the nation again, going to win a national championship, going to score all these points and, you know, win all these games. I don't get it. I think he should be underselling and, and trying to just – you know, win a few games down there because he's, you know, he's got issues. I mean, he's he's still, you know, he's got Emory Jones as a quarterback right now. And we'll see, you know, he's, he's going to be a true freshman. I do think he's going to be starting. But, you know, Florida, Florida is not where they want to be talent-wise and certainly not where they want to be, you know, win-loss-wise. I do think Dan Mullen is a good head coach, though. I just think he should have stayed at Mississippi State. And if he wanted to make the move to Gainesville, fine. Just don't run your mouth like you're going to come out winning national championships because I think it's going to be a whole lot more difficult than he thinks it's going to be. And then, you know, what if he doesn't win any national championships in the next two years? Then then what's he going to do? How's he going to back up all this talk? And, you know, is he going to be, you know, how long is he going to be a Florida head coach? You know, are, are, are fans going to, you know, put up with it if, if he hasn't won a national championship in the next three or four years like he's promised to? So, anyways, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Appreciate all the uh, support. See you in the next video.